Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Assalamu alaikum students. I'm Aisha from Peshawar Mall School, Noshera campus. I hope all of you are doing fine and you are well in your homes. You are staying in your home and you are working accordingly. You should have watched all the videos and all the lectures that we have delivered in the previous videos. This is class for English. And today, in this video, students, we are not going to continue our units and our exercises. Students, if you have watched the previous videos and the previous lectures, you should have aware that we are done with unit number one and some of exercises in that unit. We are still left with a lot of units and a lot of exercises, but students, moving on towards the units, let's just first start and cope up with the SVT. You, your summer vacation task is over here, so we should just do that accordingly and after that we should move on to the next units. Students, we will skip that for a while and we will just move on to the SVT, your summer vacation task. Students, before starting and going on towards the SVT, you should be very clear about this thing and you should listen to me very carefully. Student, the SVT task is very, very important and the marks that is for the SVT is going to be aided in your exams, in your term exams. It is going to be aided in your midterm as well as your final term. So you should be very careful about it and you should not take it easy. You should give importance to all of your work but especially to this because you have marks for these SVTs. The work you will done in your SVT copies will be checked and the marks that is given to you on the SVT copies will be added to your midterms and your final terms exam. So you should not just take it small and light. You should work accordingly to the video and to my guidance and according to the work that is shown to you step by step in the videos. Student, this is your SVT. This is your summer vacation task. I hope you're enjoying your vacations and you're working. So moving on toward the SVTs, let me just tell you that where are you going to do the SVT. Student, as you're aware that you have to buy a new copy, like a separate copy for the SVT. So you have to buy a copy. Either you want to make a portion for the English or you want to buy a new copy for English. So you have to have a copy and in that copy you have to note down all what is shown to you on the video and on the lectures. Student, this is SVT video number one, lecture number one for class four English. Okay students, so move, moving on towards your SVT task. You have questions that is very, very easy and you'll be able to do it yourself once I tell you the method that how you're going to do it. Students, this is SVT class for English. Okay, before moving on to the questions, let me just read that note for you real quick. That is, write these questions in vacation copies and learn it. So you have to write all these questions in your vacation copies and you have to learn it as well and it has marks so the marks is going to be added accordingly to your exams so you should not miss any work in this and any video students for not missing any videos you should be subscribed to the channel so that you will be get notified when any of the video your new video or lecture is here okay students so question number one for you in your SVT is if you don't have SVT copy right now, just note it down in your rough copy and later on you need to just note it in your SVT copies. You can see the question on the cover as well. Write the opposites of these words. Students, what are opposites? You should be aware of that because opposites are being taught to you from the earlier classes. Opposites, olat, mean words are going to be given to you and then you need to write the very opposite to that word. For example, if I say that this thing is white, then the opposite of the white is going to be black. Opposite means ulat. Alfaz mutazad in Urdu. 
So there is going to be one word and you need to write the opposite. The opposite means the thing that is very opposite like uske ulat aapne uska likna hai. So like this phone, this phone is black and this phone is white. So these, the color of these phones, both of these phone mobiles are opposite to each other. Means ye dono ek dusre ke ulat hai. This is black and this is white. So these are the opposites of each other. So if a word is given to you and then they said that you have to write an opposite of that. So you have to write the opposites. So similar is the question for your SVT work and that is that you have to write the opposites of these words. I have another example for you as well for the words opposite and that is there are two pencils you can see one is color pencil and then the other is pencil so one is small and then the other is big so these both are the opposites of each other this one is big small small big so both of these are the opposites of each other one is different and the other is a different thing a very different thing from it one is small and then the other is big so these are the opposites of each other then i have shown you white and black similar the other example is going to be like there are two circles on this copy as you can see one have white color as you can just see around it one is white the in inside of the circle is white and then the other circle is black so these both are the opposite of each other white black big small white black the other examples are going to be like for example student this is fire this is a burning matchstick so this is going to be hot Students, the match stick was hot because it was burning. So the opposite of it is going to be this water bottle. The water in it is cold. So the match stick that was burning was hot and the opposite of it is cold. The water in the bottle is very cold. It is from the refrigerator as you just drink in the summer. So hot and cold. The fire was hot. And then the opposite of it is the cold water, the water that is cold in the water bottle that you drink in the summer. The ice cream is cold and then the fire is hot. So these are also the opposite of each other. Similarly, students if you can just see this is another example for you. I have just chosen it from the natural environment it is a flower that you can just see is a very small small flower it is in the grass so this is a very small flower so this is going to be short and the opposite like the different flower from it is going to be tall so this is a short flower the opposite or a different flower in a sense from it is going to be tall so short short flower and students if you can just see with it then there is a little tall flower this is a short flower and this is a tall so short flower and tall flower is going to be the opposite it is it is different in a sense from each other so these both are the opposite of each other this is short and this is tall short tall Similarly, student, if you can just see that there is a mask. The mask is made up of cloth, which is, which, which is very soft. So, this is going to be soft and the china dish or kind of a small decoration piece that is made up of clay is very hard to touch. So, this is going to be soft, hard, soft and hard is 
both the opposite of each other so both of these are objects are different and are opposite of each other are different from each other in a sense so the material that it is made up of are both opposite of each other this material this object is soft and this object the pot that is made up of from clay a kind of a china dish a decoration piece is hard it is hard to touch like if you can just check it out check it around it is made up of clay and it is quite hard so this is a solid hard object hard and then this is very soft so soft and hard or you can also hard and soft the opposite of each other so these are both opposite of each other hope students you got it from through the examples i'll just show you how you are going to do your question in the svt okay students so you got through the examples i hope you got a bit of what words opposites are you must have an idea about that from the previous classes as well but through examples it should be have more clear for you so moving on to the questions and the words that are given to you on the svt you can just see it on the cover as well so you need to take out your svt's copy i'm going to show you the words and you're going to write the opposites of all of these words okay so number one is war war jung what is going to be the opposite of it now it is your work to find it out whether through your parents guides or yourself from the internet or wherever and students to make it more bright and more creative you can also do this thing that i'm going to show you in the video you can just take out your copy your svt copy and then you can draw the pictures with each of the words in, in and it opposites like for example okay students as you can see that i have just noted down in the rough copy you can just do the same thing in your svt copies you can just write summer vacation task task number one question number one and you can just write write opposites of these words then words opposite you can just draw a line in the middle and you can write one two three four five words and then the opposite in front of it like the things that are different from it in a sense you can write it in on the front on the other front of it so students to make it more creative you can draw pictures with it like for example if it is war so if there is some kind of a war picture like if there is kind of a picture that is in your SST book or is anywhere you can take out you can cut out that picture and you can just paste it in our hair to let me just show you example I'm going to put a picture for that and you can just do it on your own okay students as I've shown you the method of how you're going to do your question number one on your SVT copies so I was just talking about the activity to make it more creative you can just do that for example there is a word war so for example if you have a geography book that is old or that is not for your use there so you can just take out the pictures or if there is some kind of activity books with you or you can draw the pictures if you didn't got the picture with it so it will be more clear for you and then it can be more creative for you as well you have a lot of time to do your SVT so it will just get a good impression on that so you can just do this for example I have a picture the word is war and uh, war and for example the word is war and the opposite of it is peace so I have this kind of a picture that is just related to peace and that also means peace like shaking hand so war and peace the opposite of it is peace so I have pasted down the picture of peace the symbol of peace in front of it and then I, I can just write it down that the opposite of it is peace you can also write it with a um, pencil or dark colors but just use pencil it is going to be good for you and then you can put the picture of war as well if you want for example I have a geography book over here and then it have a war picture sorry this one 
so it is a kind of a war going on so you can just cut out such kind of pictures and paste it on your activity or with the opposite if you want you can cut out such kind of pictures from your books from your spare book that you don't need to use it more so you can cut out pictures like this like a picture of a war and then paste it with the word and then paste the opposite picture like a piece of a symbol of peace or something in front of it hope you got what i want to tell you and how i want you to do that so the next word is empty word number third is good word number four is black and word number five is narrow you can see it again on the cover i hope you got all of the words you can do it accordingly if you don't want to paste the picture then it is okay as well but if you can do it then just do it because it is going to be really creative and uh, will be more understandable for you so i will just uh, you know encourage you to do that so just like i have done the first one for you i have shown you the picture of war as well so due to last time i cannot paste it here but you can just do it accordingly so you can just do the rest of it your own because you're in class 4 and you will be able to do that. It is very very easy and you're already aware of that. If you have any problem or any difficulty you can ask me below in the comments. Okay and you can also add up a kind of activity to make it more understandable and clear for you. So I have a kind of activity if you want you can just do it right after this question. This question number one after you are done with doing all this so you can like empty and write the opposite of it and also paste a picture like a picture of a jar which is full or something and good like bad putting some kind of picture black white narrow wide I have also tell you answers real quick if you didn't got it anywhere you can just repeat on to the video but still you should be able to do it yourself okay so after this you can after completing this question after writing down the opposites of these five words after doing this question you can move on to the next page in your SVT copy and you can do a kind of a small activity for your understanding of words opposite like I have a method for you on my own you can just do it with whatever kind of activity you want but still you can do it okay students as you can see that I have the activity for you that I was just talking about that you can just write it down that activity on the top and then you can write words opposite then you can just kind of draw a flow chart or some kind of thing if you want to do it it is not compulsory only question number one is compulsory but for your understanding and for doing it more creative you can just do this activity if you want or if you don't want it's okay you can, it's very very easy you can just write two to three or four kind of words opposite and then you can write uh, sorry draw the picture of it you can just draw the picture of it for example I have done this for you activity and then words opposite and then there is a kind of a flow chart in which there is circles two circles in which I have put it one black circle and then one is white circle so black and white are both opposite of each other I have also done another words opposite for you and that is tall and short and as you can see I have noted down another um, words opposite for you similarly if you can see the second words opposite that is tall and short I have just drawn a rough picture of that just to show you that how your activity will look like if you want to do the activity this is activity for the words opposite if you want to do it you can kind of draw flowchart or whatever you want to do but it should be kind of activity and more words opposite than the words opposite that is given to you in the question it is the kind of activity you want to do that it's okay you don't want to do that then it is also okay but if you do it it's going to be really good and it's going to be understandable and easy for you as well it is kind of interesting if you want to do that so I just added it up to you here if you in case if you want to do that so you should know the method okay students Okay, student, this was uh, the first question. Best wishes for the, the, that. And meet you in the second lecture of SVT in the second video. I hope you got all the words opposite through that. Now it's your job to just do and fill all of your questions, all of your words. It's not 
a lot it's just four and you need to do that yourself if you have any difficulty you can ask me in the comment take care of yourself and everybody around you stay home and stay safe thank you